Over the past three years, I've been able to build my social media marketing agency to make me 200K per month. And in this video, I'm literally pulling back the curtain and I'm gonna show you exactly how I make the money that I make, the number of clients that we have to make that sort of money, how much each client pays us and a lot more. So buckle up, let's go right into it. First things first is understanding a little bit about my agency because without understanding the business model, the finances just won't make sense. And the simple reason why this is incredibly important is simply because most entrepreneurs, even most agency owners, they don't typically fail or not make as much money as they'd like to because they're bad entrepreneurs. It's simply that from the very start, they put themselves in the wrong vehicle. In our case, what we do is we scale e-com brands to eight figures using paid ads. I get it, it's not very sexy, but it works. And let me show you proof because proof tastes good. So we're gonna jump right into my computer. This is my Stripe account literally uh, for last month. And this is cash collected. In revenue, we made over 200K. And this is purely through Stripe. Then we have PayPal and we also have bank transfers. Now operating with e-com businesses gives us access to some very cool exclusive perks. And these are perks that even people working with e-com businesses don't often realize. The first one is we can charge higher fixed retainers. Why? Because e-com businesses have higher profit margins than most businesses out there, especially if you compare it to something like local businesses. And most importantly for these businesses, a paid advertising service, a paid advertising agency is not an opportunity or something that could be cool to uh, implement to their business, it is a necessity. They need it just like you and me need oxygen to live. And so the brand owner, before they even started the brand, they already had a line in their expense sheet for the paid advertising because they understand that to get eyeballs on their brand consistently, they need to put themselves out there through paid ads. Now you may be thinking, well, duh, doesn't every single business? Not technically, definitely not local businesses. If you look at a local gym, a lot of the traffic they're gonna get is street traffic, geographical limitations. If you have a gym that's five minute walk away from your house and then another gym that's maybe 10 times better, but it's 45 minute by car from your house, you're still probably gonna pick the five minute walk gym. You also have a lot of word of mouth when it comes to local business. Not only that, but you have a maximum capacity. You can only sign so many clients. So a lot of local businesses are actually already capped at clients. I could talk about this for hours and end, but you get the point. And the second very cool perk that I'll be giving you examples of how I'm doing this is that I can charge a percentage of the money that I make. Them. And this is really where the money is, as you'll see in a second. It's cool for a number of reasons. Number one, I don't need a huge volume of clients to make a lot of money, which keeps complexity low. Understand that having a lot of clients is actually a pain in the neck and it's very high complexity. And it doesn't mean that you can make more money. Oftentimes your profit margins take a hit when you do that. And the second reason why this second perk is very cool is because that number grows month on month, as you'll see in just a second. So that's about the agency. Now onto the income breakdown. Hopefully you're ready for this because the first income source from the 200K per month is the fixed retainers. 20% of the 200K comes from fixed retainers, which is roughly 40 to 50K per month fixed. Currently we have nine clients, which is not a lot of clients, which is actually very good. As I said, I don't wanna have a lot of clients because for me, the agency model is a very cash flow, very relaxed, fun type of business for me. I don't wanna ever make it my job. And it's also not the type of business for which I'm ready to sleep under my desk and work nine to 10 hours on it. At this point, and for a number of reasons, you'll find out in just a second, we also pick the projects that we work on on very, very curved. And so we selectively pick these nine slots to make sure that we work on projects that are long-term, that are really gonna make our clients a lot of money and that are really gonna make us a lot of money. So our fixed retainers will range anywhere between three to 6K per month, which is not a huge amount either, which is a no-brainer for the client. And this 40 to 50K per month of fixed retainers it's just nice, it's predictable, it's recurring. And even with a fraction of that, it pays for my lifestyle, takes care of myself, my loved ones, et cetera, et cetera. So that is that for the fixed retainers. The second income source, this is where it gets fun, are the ad profit deals. 30% of the money that we make comes from the ad profit deals. And that is around 60 to 80K per month, every single month. Essentially what we do here is we take a percentage of what we make the client every single month. The calculation is very simple. I won't bore you with it, but it's ad revenue. So how much we make them minus ad spend, how much we actually spend on the ads to make them that money, minus service fee, so how much we charge them fixed per month, and minus cost of goods sold, how much it actually costs to produce the products that we sold for. And that gives us a term that I've coined ad profit. And we'll take 15 to even 30% of that because that is pure profit that we're putting into their pocket. The great thing about this, as I said, is that it grows month to month passively, right, without us increasing complexity or anything like that, because we're increasing the ad spend. So as we increase the advertising spend for our clients, because we're getting them really good results, they're happy. Hey, hi, may increase the ad spend. We make more money as well. And so literally the agency grows every single month without increasing operational complexity. And not only that, but it actually gets easier to run the business. So we make more money. We have literally same amount of clients. So you know, same or less operational complexity, right? And it gets easier because typically when we're increasing the ad spend, it means we found a winning formula for a client. And so it gets easier and we make more money, which is pretty cool. And the final source of income, the heavy hitter, partner 
or our own e-com brands. 50% of what we make actually comes from that, which is around 100K plus per month. But what the hell are partner brands? What do I mean by that? One of the reasons why I love the agency model is because it has a ton of longevity. Yes, you're making a lot of money, but you're also creating a future for yourself if you take the right steps. And so the way you want to look at an e-com agency is it provides you with incredible capital because it's very cash flow positive, it's very profitable as well. It provides you with a team talent that is able to grow e-com brands, which is great. It provides you with a ton of connections, right? From e-com founders from all over the world that you can really connect with and, and build a really cool relationship out of it, uh, which I have for a lot of the e-com founders that I've worked with. And then you also start learning a ton, not just about your service that you offer for these clients, but also about all these different components of an e-com brand, product development, logistics, uh, branding, et cetera, et cetera. And with those things that you're building up as you start growing your e-com agency, you can do two things. Number one, you can start having equity and partner deals. When you've worked for a brand for even, you know, four to nine months and you've done a really good job for them and they've seen you as a partner doing that whole journey it's actually very easy to negotiate an equity deal and we have this for example with a brand called dr planets cosmetics where we have a pretty large equity deal with them and that brand cuts us a pretty good check every single month here's another example of one of my students patrick implementing this strategy and taking a six percent equity in a pretty big brand as well and the second thing that you can do is you can create your own e-com brand which we've also done and and it's pretty sweet because you don't have to think about logistics or product development or even branding you just focus on one single thing which is still the marketing side of things and you can literally start building a portfolio of e-com brands that you have equity in and in five years be at a pretty decent net worth and it all started with an e-com agency for example for us i expect this portion to grow to 200 to 400k per month just this portion alone by the end of the year and really just maintain the client revenue side of things at 100k per month it's predictable it's recurring it's fun and really just grow the equity deal on my own e-com brand to scale to scale to a million per month. And that, my friends, is that for my breakdown of my 200K per month agency. If you've enjoyed this, go ahead, do the YouTube thing, smash the like button, helps a ton with the algorithm. And if you wanna catch free trainings just like this and even more in depth on how to actually book predictable meetings with clients, how to sign them with ease and how to maintain them and get them incredible results, I am going live on my free Facebook mastermind pretty much on a daily basis. If you wanna go ahead and apply, there's gonna be a link in the description. Fill out a bunch of questions. We'll see if you're a good fit. And if you are, I look forward to seeing you there. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.